Deputy Speaker, we're also supporting businesses who work in the film industry. Over the past five years, 40 international pro productions have been secured for Australia. These productions, which come from usually the US, have created more than 22,000 employment opportunities and work for more than 23,500 individual Australian businesses. Between 2018 and 2020, 2021, the production supported more than 9,000 regional jobs and 4,700 regional businesses. So, so it's big money coming into local economies. Typically, 60% of the spend by international producers is with businesses outside the screen sector. So I'm talking transport and accommodation providers, catering, venue hire, legal services and financial services. But in my electorate, it's things like animal trainers. So two productions in Macquarie uh, have had access to the incredible talent we have in terms of training. I got to go on set at the Ryan Gosling, The Fall Guy movie to watch a local Hawkesbury trainer on set, yes, it was very cool, <laughs> with her dog, with Ryan Gosling. Uh, and, it, and what was more interesting, quite frankly, than watching Ryan Gosling was talking to the local businesses there who have their training people up on these uh, film sets. They're getting to use really big equipment that they might otherwise not get to use. And you can see the real drive it gives to that film production sector. The other business that uh, really relies on this is performance livestock, where Renee and Graham specialise in horses, but also work with dogs, cats, livestock, like goats, sheep, cattle, and camels in movies here, like Planet of the Apes. Now, we've made sure these businesses will continue to have work on major films, and we've done that by raising the location offset to a permanent 30% level. It gives international producers the certainty they need to invest here, and it also gives our local businesses the certainty that they need to ensure they're training people up and that they're able to stay working in this important sector.